It's your boy, Warren B. Arthur, Pim God, which your mama should have told you. And today at 1 p.m. Uh, on the Lawrence D. Adams channel, we'll be doing a third live installment of Pimp Cybernetics. And um, so check us out at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard on the Lawrence D. Adams channel and join our live. But today I wanted to chop up some game and this is entitled Pimp DNA. Now, a pimp is born, not made. And I, I believe a key component in what allows a pimp to do what he does is he was born with a developed animal. Which gives him access to the feminine principle in ways that most men can't access. This is why a hoe could only respect a pimp because he's the only one who truly knows and understands her because he's tapped into what she is that is a small part of himself. So a pimp is a hoe that's reversed the game on her. That's why she has to respect him. She don't have no game for him. He got game for her. You know, and um, so. The anima. In a man is almost the. DNA of a pimp. Pimp DNA is the anima. That is his ability to access. Right. The subtle realm of the feminine principle. Pimp DNA is is anima activity, right? On another level, when you think about getting on the internet, the super highway, right? You can have a computer, but if you don't have internet access, right, then you can't get on the internet, right? It's, un, it's, it's, it's um, an abundance of information available to you at your fingertips in, in minute or second time. Um, but you got to be able to get on the internet. And so the anima is the internet of pimping. But what I want to talk about today is also accessing what is known as the Akashic Records, right? The, the internet and the knowledge of the internet is, is, is nothing in comparison to the Akashic Records. But what allows you to access what's known as the Akashic Records, which is like infinite intelligence you know what I'm saying and and stored knowledge of all time right um, God consciousness what actually allows you to access it um, is your bloodline your DNA right? The blood line or the DNA of a man is the internet that connects you to the Akashic Record. So when you talk about the gods, you know, um, be it the Orishas, you know what I'm saying? If you want to talk about the, um, you know, Tahuti, you know, hey, Ru, you know, Asar, Aset, you know, Set, whatever, um, Hathar, you know what I'm saying? You can tap into these 
essences, these consciousness, you know, like even in Islam, they talk about the 99 attributes of Allah. You know, you're talking about various aspects of, right? Um, If I gave every finger on my hands a, a, a name based upon its function to the hand and ultimately to the body, that's essentially what the gods of Kemet are. It's not that you're worshiping, you know, such said deity, but you understand that at the highest level, you are that. And that is the highest level of what's known as comedic mind science, is understanding that there's homage that you can give and should give to certain powers and deities, but you need to understand that it is inside of you. It's not out there that you're reaching for or beckoning. You know what I'm saying? So um, when you're talking about um, connecting to your ancestors, we oftentimes are looking in the present day for role models and people that we can look up to and, 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 Um, emanate but there are so many people too many people and too many essences from the past because you got to understand that there's actual history and then there's mythology and mythology is just as important as actual history because ultimately all of these things are talking about something inside of you anyway And so I encourage you, as far as your DNA, you know, understanding that you're already online. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You need to tap in, but your, your, your being and your DNA is already connected to the Akashic Records. As within, so without. What did Yeshua say? The kingdom of God is within you, the internet to the kingdom, to the Akashic, to your ancestors, to the great gods or deities is in your bloodline, it's in your DNA, and your ability to access those things. To be honest with you, this is why the American black man is so uh, hated. Because your internet access is faster than 5G. (laughs) It's something that hasn't been discovered and won't be discovered by most people. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but the gist of it is the black man in general. You know what I mean? You have access to. And so there are so many things that you can tap into and bring into um, the present day or in, in your whatever it is that you're doing or, or in your life. You don't have to, you know, we always talk about black leaders. There are no black leaders nowadays. There's no black leaders. And I'm saying... You have access to pure potentiality if you go within. You don't have to wait for another Martin Luther King or Malcolm X. You can tap into uh, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, Marcus Garvey, whatever, um, depending on whatever it is that you're doing. You can do things in the spirit of. Denzel Washington said that his greatest, and he's going to be in a new movie. He said his greatest um, his greatest skill set as an actor 
is spirit. I'm putting it in my own words. But it's accessing and embodying the spirit of the character that you're playing. Once you do that, you're not acting anymore. You are. So always have homage to your ancestors. But if you're an architect, okay, I mean, it's too many essences and deities, history and mythology to access with respect to that. And that's in your DNA. If you're a writer, the God Tahuti is the God of writing. Right? If you love um, business and finance, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, it's too many people within our bloodline historically that um, we can tap into um, to get things done. You know, uh, Benjamin Banneker, you know, um, if if you are in charge of a, of a, 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 a city development uh, program, tap into Benjamin Banneker energy. You see what I'm saying? If you're a boxer or a fighter, it's too many. I mean, if you're talking about strategy and war, you know, Hannibal. You dig? I mean... How do you not, it's, it's, it's too many um, things that you can tap into based upon what you're doing. You know what I mean? If, if you're uh, an, a doctor, okay, um, they take the Hippocratic Oath, but Hippocrates took the Imhotep Oath, but they don't want to talk about that. The wisest amongst white people are not the white people today that are racist. They're gum on the bottom of my fucking off whites. The wisest that has ever emerged from their culture ever are the Greeks. And the original Greeks are the Etruscans. But the white Greeks or European Greeks before they were white, because that's a new term. They knew who the gods were and they were all black and they all fucking knew that. The Greeks knew where all of this, this shit came from. The Greeks, the white Greeks, they weren't white. White people today are um, a debauchery of the intelligentsia of the, of the um, white Greeks. They've never, ever surpassed. And the highest level of understanding is knowing who the black God is. They know who the fuck they knew. And if you search through the Internet, you'll come across this kind of knowledge from white people. I saw a video not too long ago of a white woman that was talking about the Moors in Spain. And she said, we ain't know how to motherfucking wash up. We ain't never seen no bar of soap. We ain't know shit about no running water. We sleeping in the same quarters with our animals. And we bless the world with chicken pox. No, thank you. But I guess it's too late. Right? And on that same line, they killed off the natives with smallpox. No, thank you. But too late. The history is replete. And you have a direct line. In the spirit of Mansa Musa. Okay. I put gold in people's hand all the fucking time. Of all races. We'll be out chopping it up. This and that and the third. And whatever, whatever. And we might get on the subject. And I'll say, check this out. And I put a, a bona fide motherfucking 24 karat gold coin, one ounce in a motherfucker's hand and let him feel that energy. That's the Mansa Musa game right there. I've been doing that. 
So what I'm saying is, you don't have to feel that you're alone in this world. All the greatness that has ever existed, because everything started with us, exists in your DNA. The greatest fear is you accessing it. So they keep you bogged down with this and that, or they'll kill a black person, and now all of us is on that, and talking about what they did to Calvin, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, or whatever it is, the story is, you know what I'm saying? To, 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 because they, I honestly believe that white people manifest things like even elections through the use of our DNA. So if they can bring somebody on the stage that looks like us, hmm, they don't have that power. They manifest through us. The fear is for us to use it for ourselves instead of Right. Power is the ability to define your ideas of reality. I'm from Cleveland. So is Dr. Wade Nobles, a psychologist out of Cleveland. He coined the, 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 um, the definition of power and it's known internationally. I met him when I was in Cleveland. I didn't know who he was. He wrote down on a piece of paper. I think he signed it, too. His definition of power. I didn't even know who he was, but I think he passed on something to me too in that. I didn't even know who he was. I met him in a black owned shop. He said, Power is the ability to define your ideas of reality and have other people believe in those ideas as if they were their very own. Louis Vuitton is an idea. Gucci is an idea. You know what else is an idea? That we need to stop feeding white. Because white is actually a, um, a mental disorder because it's based upon the juxtaposition of you. Stop using your power to feed these other people's ideas and feed your own. And you can use the wisdom inherent in your ancestors and access the Akashic records in your DNA. You already got Akashic record internet. You just don't use it. Join us today at 1 p.m. Lawrence D. Adams channel. Peace.